What's going on resellers, high beasts, and sneakerheads? My name is Duncan Beaumont, and in this video, we will be talking about whether or not it is ethical to resell Kobe sneakers. We will specifically be focusing on the Kobe 6 Grinches. We'll go over some brief info on when and where to cop these shoes. Then we'll move into some resale predictions for these shoes, as well as long-term resale predictions. Talk about whether you should sell or hold these shoes. And of course, talk about whether or not it's ethical to resell these shoes. I did make a complete video on how to cop these for retail, so if you're watching this before the official release and you do want to know how to cop these shoes, make sure you do check that video out. I'll have that link below. But yeah guys, the main focus of this video is going to be resell, resell predictions, long term resell, and whether or not it's ethical to resell these shoes. So if all that does sound interesting, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, follow the Insta, the TikTok, do all of that. But yeah guys, we're going to jump right into this video. So the original Kobe 6 Grinches released on Christmas Day in 2010. So this is essentially going to be the 10 year anniversary. They will be releasing on Christmas Eve this year and they'll release on the sneakers app at 10 a.m. as well as Kith, Shoe Palace, Foot Locker, but the sneakers app is probably going to be your best bet of picking these up. They're very limited, not a lot of retailers are getting these, and them being limited combined with them just being an iconic shoe is definitely going to drive resale up. Resale is going to be pretty significant on these shoes. Like I said, we'll of course cover some specific resale predictions, but first up, I do want to talk about whether or not it's ethical to resell these in my opinion. So as we all know, Kobe Bryant did tragically die earlier this year back in January in a helicopter accident. He was an idol to many people, and that's kind of what started this whole 2020 thing off. Since then, Nike has released a number of retro Kobe shoes. They did wait a significant amount of time after he passed away. They didn't just release a pair right after. However, they definitely have released more this year than they would have in past years. They definitely released a lot more retros and things like that. And honestly, a big reason why is because Kobe did pass away. The main argument that people have for why it's not ethical to resell shoes is that people are profiting off of his death. However, Nike is pretty much doing that same thing with all the Kobe's they released this year. All right, so right now we are currently looking at some of the other Kobe's that Nike has retro this year. Obviously, we have the Grinches right here, but let's go ahead and look at it basically like maybe a size 12 for all the different shoes. So as you guys can see, Lois asked 400 for these. 434, 241 for these five rings, not quite as profitable, but again, retail of only 180 bucks. People were reselling these shoes, guys. Pretty much any Kobe that released this year was gonna have some resale value. The Lakers colorway, PJ Tucker, Big Stage, all these colorways, guys, resold pretty well. Even this EYBL girls colorway sold well. So pretty much anything that Nike released was gonna be pretty limited, and there was gonna be quite a bit of demand for it this year. Well, pretty much guys in my opinion it is ethical it is okay to resell kobe shoes people argue that it's profiting off of kobe bryant's death but nike is profiting more than anyone they're releasing more kobe shoes than ever almost as much as like retro jordans so if you guys do want to get mad at anyone don't get mad at resellers get mad at nike for releasing more kobe shoes than usual also the only reason that these do resell is because they are limited so again if you want to get mad at anyone get mad at nike because they're they are producing these in limited quantities. If you guys want everyone to get a pair for retail, tell Nike to make more pairs rather than getting mad at resellers for taking advantage of supply and demand. So that's the main reason why I think it's okay, why I think it's ethical. The other reason is just that if we're not gonna do it, someone else will. These limited sneakers are always gonna get resold, so you might as well try to make some money. Unless we somehow all agreed that, oh, we're just gonna let people who want to wear these shoes get them for retail, people are gonna be reselling this shoes so you might as well do it guys everyone else is gonna do it that's just my opinion though guys I do think it's okay if you don't think it's okay let me know why in the comments comment down below why you don't think it's ethical to resell these Kobe shoes again if you think it's because people are profiting off his death get mad at Nike not resellers but anyways guys now we are gonna move into some resale predictions all right so right now we are looking at the current prices of the Kobe 6 Grinch as you guys can see size 12 around $400 let's look Look at some different sizes size 13 actually a little bit more size 10 a little bit less so i am estimating sizes 11 to 13 will perform the best and honestly i'm thinking they'll go for around 450 
a lot of times on releases like this where they're very limited, prices actually jump up a little bit after the release because people take their L's and they go to the secondary market. People aren't gonna be buying them a lot right now because they know that they can try to get them for retail tomorrow. But yeah, guys, retail is 180. This does say 190. That's incorrect. It is 180. And sizes 11 to 13 should perform the best, but all sizes should be pretty profitable. And you'll probably come close to doubling your money in just about any size. So yeah, those are pretty much my resale predictions. As far as whether to sell or hold these, I would definitely sell. I think they will go up over time, but it's not going to be much quickly. It's going to be probably a long hold and they probably won't go up that much. So I would definitely just sell these after the drop. Personally, what I'll be doing, I'm going to try to pick up a personal pair size nine and a half. If I can't get that size, if I get other sizes, I will sell them. But I'm definitely going to try to get that nine and a half first because this is an iconic shoe. And if you're a real sneakerhead, you are going to want this in your collection. But anyways, guys, that's about it. That's my opinions on whether you should sell these or not. That is my resale predictions long term and of course, just regular after the drop. Hope this video helped you guys out. Hope you have a better understanding of why people think it's not okay and why it actually is is okay to resell these shoes again though guys if you do have a different opinion than me leave that down below love to see what you guys are thinking but i do just want to thank you guys one more time for watching i really appreciate it and until next video guys peace out